Welcome to the Maine Department of Education's Early Childhood Career Video Series. The GOE Early Learning Team has created these videos to highlight a few of the many roles in the field of early childhood education. We are pleased to celebrate these amazing individuals and the important work they do. Today is Tasty Tuesday. Good nutrition is essential to good health. During early childhood, we are not only fueling children's bodies to support their development today, but are also building habits for life. Helping to prepare healthy meals and snacks helps children learn good habits while building language, motor, and math skills. Today, you will meet professionals working in roles that support healthy nutrition and eating habits for young children. First, we will meet Susan Polk Hofsis, a pre-K teacher from Millbridge. Um, my name is Susan Polk Hofsis. I am the pre-K teacher at Millbridge Elementary School. I've been teaching pre-K here for the past seven years. And uh, before that, I was our kindergarten teacher for 14 years before that, and then a Head Start teacher for five years. So, And can you talk a little bit about your role with the school gardens as well? Oh my goodness. So I will be totally transparent. I knew nothing about gardening because I grew up in San Francisco uh, in the inner inner of the inner city. And so I realized when I came to Millbridge, which is located in rural Washington County, that my students really did not have a good understanding of where food came from. And so I thought, what I needed to do was I needed to learn more about it. So when I found out that in this area, maybe three generations ago, people just gardened, they grew their food. And my thought was, well, why don't I kind of get my students to understand what it means to garden? And then maybe that would help their families to think, wow, maybe... I think I remember grandma or grandpa, uh, you know, having that garden. And my goal was to maybe spark that enthusiasm in my um, in my students' families about gardening. And um, so that's where it came about. Um, my students really, when you would put a school lunch tray in front of them, having them, well, here are green beans. No one ever ate the cooked green beans, but when it came time to harvest, they, my students were like ripping the, the green beans off the plant, shoving it in their mouths and they just loved it. So can you talk a little bit about what drew you to working with young children who have been in the yeah, field for a while? Absolutely. Um, you know, when I became a teacher, it was just a regular ed teacher. And I think when I um, accepted the position with Head Start, I had never worked with um, young children with uh, three and four year olds. And I really found out that that is where I really want, wanted to be. And so when um, the opening came up at my school in 2000, I, uh, as a kindergarten teacher, I said, absolutely. I just love that um, at this age, they're still excited about learning. They're um, they're willing to take chances. They're not fearful of well, what if I should fail? Someone will. They are just just always eager. They're always eager to try new things. Caroline Trinder is the nutrition manager in RSU twenty three in Old Orchard Beach. Okay, so my name is Caroline Trinder, and I'm a registered dietitian and the food service director for the schools in RSU 23 in Old Orchard Beach. Um, I've had this position for almost five years now, and I've been in school nutrition for a little over 13 years and really just found my passion as a school dietitian, uh, food service director, all of these different um, hats that I get to wear in this job. So my role is very diverse, um, supervising a variety of people in different locations, menu creation. Uh, I watch the trends of what kids like to eat, what they don't like to eat to make sure that we are appealing to their appetites. My favorite expression is it's not nutrition if you don't eat it. So you can put out anything in the world, but if they're not going to eat it, it, it didn't serve any purpose. So um, we do the fresh fruit and vegetable program here too. So that's a really, really fun grant that we get to work with to bring a variety of produce items. We had cactus pears last week, pink pineapples coming up, uh, rainbow cauliflower, you name it. Our kids are getting an, an opportunity to try things that maybe they haven't tried. So, so right when I graduated from college, um, I took my registered dietitian exam and 
became a registered dietitian, which is a accreditation um, around the country. And I started immediately at the Head Starts in Mid Coast, Maine. I had seven Head Starts that I oversaw all aspects of nutrition, as well as three early Head Starts. So it was very similar to this job in supervising staff, planning menus. I did a lot of teaching with parents. Um, I was in the classrooms a lot doing nutrition education. It was a really great job. And then I moved to another state and I had always wanted to be a clinical dietitian. I always kind of assumed that's what I would be. I think most people that go to school to be a dietitian just assume they'll work in a hospital. Um, I did that for about two years and realized I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't what I was meant to do. I felt like my job was kind of reactionary to people already had a specific disease state and I was supposed to fix it moving forward where I thought if I could get back to working with children, I could maybe help influence their choices and they could choose healthier lifestyles with that knowledge at a younger age. For you, what's the best part of working with young children? I mean, you get to work with pre-K to grade 12 now, but yeah. the young ones and, and the families because you have experience with that as well. I really think it's just hearing when a child loves their lunch to the point that their parents commenting on the picture that I posted on our Facebook page, that their kid was just raving about it. Can they have the recipe? Chef David Boger works closely with Caroline in RSU 23. Yeah, my name is uh, David Boger. I guess you could call me Chef David, as all the kids do here. Um, I was hired at the beginning of this school year under a uh, federal COVID grant monies to um, kind of help them for two years to kind of bolster the program into uh, less of a freezer to oven program and more to a scratch cooking operation. And yeah, so I came here with a school lunch background. I've worked in uh, restaurants most of my career, um, but went back to school for nutrition. I um, got an associate's degree in dietetics and really fell in love with uh, community nutrition there and did internships uh, with South Portland schools and just decided pretty soon, pretty early on that that school nutrition was going to be for me and uh, got my first role um, in in a daycare and loved it, learned a ton, um, learned to do a lot with very little in a uh, daycare setting and kind of just jumped some jumped up some steps. I went to uh, I went to Wyndham Middle School after that as a kitchen manager for three years and really cut my teeth in actual school nutrition. So working with kids is probably the best part of this job. I discovered quickly when I got to intern at South Portland at Brown Elementary and, and hopped behind the line and scrubbed some dishes and had the kids be like, who are you and what are you doing? It was a sense of like kind of this is where I belong. I, I think I've always known I wanted to work with kids. I see myself as an educator and I've kind of come around it a different approach, um, but working in a daycare setting with really little kids from infants to four-year-olds um, and learning all the ins and outs of how to get them excited about food, um, taking some time and getting in the classrooms and doing little mini uh, nutrition educations, it just, it was awesome. And what we're doing here um, at Jamison Elementary, anytime I get a chance to go over there and test a new menu item, um, and go into the line and interact with the kids and, and get them to take a taste of something they've never tried before and then see them light up um, to a new, a new taste, a new ingredient that they've never seen. Next, we will meet David Poulin, Nutrition Coordinator at Educare in Waterville. Uh, my name is David Poulin, and I am the Nutrition Coordinator for KVCAF, um, which includes the Educare building and our outlying centers uh, that are associated with the public schools. It involves everything from menu planning, food ordering, um, food modifications, uh, allergies, uh, intolerances, uh, making sure we meet all those uh, standards. Um, uh, that's the biggest part of my day, is that. Um, also going into the classrooms uh, with the children uh, at meal times to see how they like the food, talk about the food with the children. Um, that's probably the biggest part of my of my job to do. Uh, in, a, in a normal meal, we would talk about the same things, the shape, the color, if they like it, have they had it before somewhere else, uh, what they think is in it, and we'd have a, a soup or a mixed dish thing, you know, what they think is in. What and they come up with some pretty like strange things that might be in there. 
Um, but it's, it's fun. It's a, it's a great conversation with the kids. Did teachers ever invite you in to be part of the work that they're engaged in? Yes, the teachers will invite myself and my kitchen staff in. Um, all the nutrition staff try to go into the classrooms um, to do some meal observations or just to sit in on a meal. Uh, we do cooking projects in the classroom with the kids. So we'll make muffins or uh, trail mix and a few other things um, so the kids can help mix it all up and we bring it back and bake it, bring it back down. Um, they've made their own individual pizzas before. So the classroom staff will ask us to come in and do um, either taste testings or nutrition projects with the kids. And I divide it up with myself and my staff. Before you ended up in this position, mm -hmm. what were some of your previous stepping stones? Oh, stepping stones. So I went to a culinary school uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, then I worked as a chef in Boston for five years, mm -hmm. six years. Uh, then came back to Maine. Um, we never sold our house in Maine. <laughs> and uh, I started working uh, for Katie Cap as the uh, kitchen supervisor. Uh, I did that for seven years and then now I'm the nutrition coordinator for the last three years. What's the best part for you in your job in terms of working with young children? Uh, the, the best part is just the interactions with the children. Uh, you know, I, I get lost sometimes because I have a lot of uh, paperwork to do and you know, doing work with, um, you know, seven other centers that are in the school departments. Mm -hmm. It can really take my focus away from the kids. But really what gets me the most is going into the classrooms and either watching the kids eat or talking about the food with them or just sitting in the classroom and having them talk to me. That's the, that's the best part, and seeing them smile and knowing that they're eating and going home after they've eaten and they're not going home hungry. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want any child to go home hungry. So. We hope that you enjoyed the video and meeting a few of the people who enrich the lives of young children in our state. If you are interested in learning more about positions working with young children, please reach out to a member of the DOE Early Learning Team. Check out the rest of the videos. One will be released each day this week.